What's your name, son? Cecil. Cecil? Ain't that like a girl's name from like the Great Depression? <laughs> hey, Cecil, you want some more soup? Oh, too bad, it's the Great Depression. <laughs> What would you guys do without me? Who's got a question? <laughs> Flanders, you got pennies in those shoes? What, do you plan on buying the bubble gum uh, in 1960 or something? <laughs> What's going on? You're not with this guy, are you? No. No? Looks like he liked it and put a ring on something. All I gotta say is, I'm sorry and run away fast. Hit me with your best shot, Pat Benatar! This is Uncle Chet, and today we're gonna pay him a visit in prison. I'll never forget the day I met Uncle Chet. I was driving to my business casual comedy show when my car broke down. This guy walked up the side of the freeway, fixed it, and said, I'm Uncle Chet, and you're welcome. I gave him a ride into town, and on the way he was giving me all this advice, not just about cars, about life. He had me cracking up, so I said, do you want to be in a comedy show? He performed that night and at a bunch of our shows. He was a huge hit. After I moved to California, I didn't think I'd ever see him again. Boy, was I wrong. Now, we're told that some victims, the Gomez family, a low-income family, have been robbed. Three boxes of toaster strudels gone. Any comment? Yeah, well, I'd like to think of it more as a donation they didn't know they were going to be doing. I was hungry. I needed breakfast. What better way to start your day than a hot toaster strudel? I noticed you still have your bib on. Was it a very messy breakfast? Well, yeah, and I like to be extra careful. I mean, I'm a gentleman. I'm not a freak. Well, do you expect to be in jail for quite a long time? Not for long, sweetheart. I don't think so at all. Oh, well, thank you so much for your time, Uncle Chet. Oh, You're thanks! Ch nice blouse! Oh, thank oh, you. Yeah. It's new! Uncle Chet! That's it. Back to you guys. Uncle Chad pretty much looked the same, except for the orange jumpsuit, of course. He insisted on doing the interview in the bathroom, claiming that's where he felt most comfortable. And that's also where he produced his own show, Uncle Chet's Daily Log. I came out here to Cali because I wanted to help more people across the globe. And I wanted to find the one. You know, I'm just looking for love, man, like everybody else. How do you maintain your glow? Gonna glow like Twilight crap glow or what? <laughs> just the overall thing here. How does this still glow? Listen, man, you got a girlfriend or what? Because you're creeping me out. I stole the strudels from that family because I was dating their daughter, Lucia. And they were just going to throw the strudels away. And I said... No, let me give them to someone who needs them. Me. They told me I got seven more years locked up in this place. Seven years, are you kidding me? I'm going crazy, man. Oh, if I could get out, I would go right to Mexico where, where Lucia moved with her family after this whole mess. I'd bring them a, a box of toaster strudels and I would say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lucia. We would have a picnic. And I'd probably make out with her. I told him I wish there was something I could do. That was a mistake. You don't happen to still drive that white Ford Taurus, do you? Yeah, I do. Hey, what's that over there? <laughs> Uncle Chet knocked me out. Stole my keys and my car. Then he started out on a good old-fashioned police chase. We have an 
landscape convicts on loose, 5'8", Caucasian male, black mullet, sunglasses, and boots, wearing an orange prison jumpsuit. Suspect was last seen driving a stolen white Ford Taurus. I helped police look for him everywhere. Streets, back alleys, you name it. We couldn't find him anywhere. Then we headed for the beach. Then, bingo. He didn't even waste time shutting the car off. Then, I spotted him. I thought about trying to stop him, but it was obvious he was on a mission. Uncle Chet was a man who had a long journey ahead of him, and nothing could get in his way. He was probably trying to go to Mexico to win back his true love, Lucia. Of course, he was going in the wrong direction since Mexico is south, but nothing could get in his way. I mean, after all, he is Uncle Chet. That's Uncle Chet, and you're welcome. I didn't know check shirts were in. I thought the 90s were over. <laughs> men wear checks. Because <laughs> where I'm from, men who wear checks get the crap kicked out of them. <laughs> That's the American way, Flanders. Ain't enough toilet paper in the world to wipe my tush of you ugly people. Come on before I yak on your American Eagle plaid. I'm Uncle Chet. You're all welcome.